we can say that. Uh, hey guys, today is number, uh, I'm Ella and I am Canada's Biggest Goosebumps fan. And uh, this is episode 167 of the Goosebumps series. And this will be a big spoiler alert video because we're doing the uh, new Slappy World book that I just got before it came out by someone with the name of RLS and I'm going to be um, reviewing it. I'm going to be honest, the best thing about this book was the cover. The cover is very vibrant, nice colors, I just like it a lot, and you think if the book has a good cover, it's gonna be a good book, right? Wrong. Don't judge a book by its cover, kids. Um, this is probably one of the worst um, Goosebumps books I've ever read, besides the other book, Haunting with the Stars, um, that might be fighting for worst book as well, um, but this book is a... Uh, the whole, the, the whole, all of the books, out of all of the books that are on the shelf, this is probably the worst. And there is a lot of Goosebumps books that have been made. Um, so this is about siblings, Cooper and Anna. They, um, they, at school, they like to make zombie movies for a school project. So I guess that would be like a metaphor to this book. Um, so basically they go on a fishing trip with their family. Uh, and they find this injured bird, so they immediately stop their fishing trip to bring this bird back home. I don't know who would do this, but apparently they really love animals for some reason and would stop their whole trip to save this bird, but that's on them, whatever. Um, and they go back to their house to help this bird, right? Fix whatever it has, a broken leg. Um, and Anna takes the bird and tries to um, help that by like fixing it or whatever, because Anna apparently really loves animals. And Cooper notices that ever since she's been taking care of this bird, that she's becoming like a bird. She's trying to climb trees and stuff and be like a bird yelling, trying to jump off, um, jump off of, out of a window to see if she could fly because she's a bird, apparently. Um, uh, and then um, Cooper needs to like, she's not realizing that this is happening to her. Cooper's parents are not realizing that this is happening to her, but um. Cooper and Cooper's friends are, are realizing, so, um, Cooper has to get rid of this bird somehow. So, Cooper sneaks into Anna's room one night and lets the bird escape, but it, obvious by letting it out the window, um, and the bird comes back. So, plan failed successfully, um, and then he tries to do the same thing again, but, um, Anna finds him and bites him. But the bird escapes, so that's good. Uh, but here's the zombie metaphor, how zombies bite people and the people's appearance as zombies. Cooper's afraid that since Anna bit him, that he's going to become a bird now too. A bird. So then he goes to sleep and wakes up the next morning, happy he's not a bird when he looks in the mirror. Um, but then he goes downstairs and he wants breakfast. So instead of picking the normal cereal, some eggs, no, um, he goes to the worms from the leftover fishing trip and eats the worms. So he's freaking out. He's screaming. He's wondering, oh my God, why am I eating bird? I'm uh, not birds. Why am I eating worms? And his family comes over to him. What are you doing, Cooper? What are you doing? And um, then his parents are like, and then he's talking about how it's real, how him and Anna are turning into birds. And then his parents are like, oh yes, our plan is so successful. We're the scientists of Wherever they live, they're scientists that are trying to turn people into birds, and apparently they are birds too, and they've been feeding their kids this energy juice or whatever to turn them into birds too so they can be a big happy family of birds. Insane. No, no words to describe this except for awful, horrible. Well, yeah. At least, at least it will be remembered as the worst Goosebumps book ever created. I don't know what's going on. These books just seem to be getting like more lower uh, age range and more and more. Like when I started reading Goosebumps, I was like, it was years ago. Um, these books actually seemed like they had something to them. They had like depth and they were actually scary. And then this one, this is childish made for more like, I don't know, third, fourth graders. And... I don't know. R I don't know if R.L. Stein is hiring people to write his books now because he's getting old. I don't know if he's just old or something, so he can't write books anymore. But I don't know what's going on. 
thank you guys so much for watching. This was a horrible book. Spoiler alert, I do not recommend you read it, but please subscribe. Bye.